Alright, welcome back to our series on extracting data from Jira using C Sharp and the REST APIs. At this point we have a response from our login request and it contains our J session ID. So let's parse that out so we can use it for authenticating future requests. If you remember in an earlier episode, uh, episode one, where I was talking about the setup uh, of my environment, I said there would be one deviation from my do it by scratch uh, philosophy and that would be to use a JSON parsing library rather than code our own. So it's time to see that actually happen. Now I have it over here whoops that's too far down there we go in C sharp so I have the Newton soft JSON DLL so let's add a using statement for that up at the top here using Newton soft JSON dot link that statement in place we are we're ready to start coding up our parse the J session ID function before we really get into it though, we'll, we'll add our, our error handling and everything, I'll try catch block with some error handling. That'll be how we get moving here. So catch, exception EX. You know what, I did it this way and all the other ones, so I'll leave it like that. Try catch, oh yeah, and in our catch, you know what, we can just copy and paste this stuff. And paste, and this is not log into Jira anymore. This time we have a new function name. So put that in, and that should be our error handling as much as we need it there. Oh, and our debug output, we want that as well. So after we're all done with this function, we will be, what are we setting? We're setting this dot, I think I call it J session ID equals something. And once we've set that, we're going to want to read it and paste these console write lines from the previous function there. Change that to J session ID. J session ID. Okay, so we have error handling, we have debug output. Um, we're ready to actually start start coding up this tricolor. This will be very concise. The first line that I'm going to type here is to deserialize our JSON into a dynamic object. Dynamic's very useful here. Normally we'd uh, create a class with the same layout as our JSON response and then we'd serialize our JSON um, into uh, to instantiate an object of that class. But with the dynamic type we can just tell the script to build an object at runtime which can hold this data. And then we access the properties of that object just in the normal way. Like we access properties of a nested array or something. So let's create our dynamic object, a dyn object. And we'll create it as a var. Well, I'm going to fully qualify this, json.json convert.deserialize object. And uh, it's a dynamic object. Dynamic. And what are we passing in? This dot login response. The login response that we just set in our last function. From this then our, our uh, J session ID and we can just reference it like I said like a nested array or anything. And from this we look at our response object. We need to go to session and then we need to get the value attribute and get the value of value. Get values value. Session value that in our dynamic object the first stop is a session and after we've done that we want value and then we we don't want the name of it we want the value of value so we'll type that in there and that's really it that's as uh, as simple as it is two lines of code so let's save that and see if it actually works so automate and there we go compile mm. do you request uh, j session id ah did i choose to call it something else up here. Yeah. It looks right. And I cap capitalize versus uncapitalize the D. Save. And there we go. Just warnings. Let's run it. Okay, okay. So we have our login response that we got back. And let's see, 87A9, 87A9. And we have nine nine six three three double nine six double three. Looks good. So, wow, that's very nice. So that was our, our goal for this episode. In the next episode, we'll actually use this JSON ID to authenticate and extract data from Jira. And I will see you there. Thanks a lot. Bye.